Yeah, so I mean, when I was in high school, I mean, I played linebacker. And, you know, people told me, oh, I think you could be an edge rusher. I think you can do this. So, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to learn how to use my hands. And, you know, when I came here, I, I looked like a, a plank. I mean, I was stiff. <laughs> I could, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I mean, I couldn't move well. You know, I just couldn't do these things. So he just told me, he's like, jump rope, yoga. And I, you know, I took those things. And over the off season, I did yoga three days a week. Um, Again, yoga to be specific to get into tendons and ligaments, and I mean now when you watch me play, and you're gonna, y'all are gonna see. I mean, I don't even look like the same person anymore. So you know, it's just taking those little things from my coach. You know, I, I implemented those things every single day and took them to heart. And then as well as just moves and stuff. I mean, he, you know, when you, when you play for a guy that's been in the league, he's been there, done that. It's so much easier to you know take in that coaching because you know he's done it. You know he's been there. So. You know, he's really worked on me with my double swipe. You know, he knew, everyone knows I got power. You know, I play aggressive, I play physical, but he's really helped me to, you know, work on my hands, work on my speed and be, you know, owning that I can also be a fast and twitchy guy, not just a big power muscle. What does that look like with Jack Piper and the firecracker trying to do yoga? I mean, you know, I, my girlfriend would go to some of the classes with me and like, she just look over me and laugh because I just don't look right doing yoga. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I come into the yoga studio and it's, you know, it's a bunch of people just, you know, smaller people and, you know, coming in there to be peaceful. And then here, here I come in there, you know, but it's just about being, you know, I'm, I'm, I try to be comfortable everywhere I'm at, you know, I don't have any fear. So I just, you know, I come in there and attack it the same way I do everything else. And just, you have to take it serious. And when you take it serious, people respect you in that space. So, you know. It's been a pretty cool thing. Do you go regularly now? Um, I haven't been able to during camp. I did all summer, but you know, because our schedules are bananas right and now. Do you, you jump know. rope? Jump rope regularly? I do. Yeah, I jump rope every morning before I hit a little workout and a little skills work. Were you doing that before you got here, jump rope? I was not. I mean, I did some in wrestling, but like consistently to work on my footwork, no. That was something that Coach Peterson really had. For a guy that woke up, I think it was like four a.m. every morning to do workouts, and you like lived in the weight room. How? Um, Different was it for a coach to suggest to you that you needed to do yoga and jump roping to get better? You know, it wasn't that big of a shock because, you know, I know my strengths, but I've also identified my weaknesses. But it's just, you know, someone that you respect pointing out those things to you that like gives you that little extra push over the edge that, you know, this is what I need to do. I have to work on this. This has to become something I do. So. Can it help? Oh, yeah, entirely. You, you, you'll see. I promise. Wrestling helps you when in football, especially on like the defensive line, when you get in really weird positions where you know normally your body should go down or twist, but you just know how to put your body back in a position that allows yourself to you know be in position to make a play. So I think that's been an amazing thing. You know, it teaches core strength, balance, and all those things. So I'm extremely blessed that I was you know made that decision to wrestle, and you know it's definitely really translated to football.